Welcome back to Good Day State Line. We love hanging out with our friends from Gambino Realtors, especially when they bring their friends to hang out with us. You're a friend of Gambino. Absolutely. So this is Warren, of course, from Blackhawk Bank. We've talked before, but for anyone who maybe doesn't know who you are, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So I've been with Blackhawk Bank specifically for three years, mortgage business for about the last 12, and we enjoy helping people get into uh, their new homes. So yeah, as much as you need a realtor to get into a new home, it's pretty hard to do it without a bank. Correct. <laughs> yep, yep. Unless you're looking at buying with cash, you know, it's always good to, to get in front of us. Uh, what we do at the very beginning is getting the pre-qualification in place to make sure that whenever you find a home, you can act on it. You're not waiting to waiting for one of us to get back to you. So I know we have like a busy market right now in the housing market. So when you are looking for a new home, do you want to jump on like collaborating with the bank right away? Is it a, yeah, a first step? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So one of the first steps is always get get together because that way you know exactly what you're looking at, you know what your interest rate is going to be approximately, you know what your payments you can afford are, what your out-of-pocket is. So it makes you feel more comfortable yeah. whenever you're looking at a, a home that you can reasonably That's afford. It probably helps you make better decisions and not have big lofty goals you're not going to be able to achieve. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't want to get yeah. your hopes up. No. So we're going to find the perfect house for everybody and I know one of the things we wanted to talk about tonight was the rates and that's pretty much all I know. <laughs> whole topic so that's why you're here so yep. tell me what rates we're talking about. yeah so there's been a lot of uh news out there talking about inflation and rates yeah. increase which always has people on edge and then uh, what i want to bring back is remind people historically we're still in a great spot mm -hmm. uh you know rates were lower they were closer to 2.75 in range you know about a year year and a half ago and they have moved up i think the average ready rate nowadays is up over four percent okay uh but historically they're still great 70s and 80s you saw 8%, 12%, even this, just back as far as 2010, there was as high as 6%. Wow. So historically, they're still fine. It's still comfortable. It's still good. And that's the rate on a loan. Correct. Right? Yep. <laughs> I'm yep. coming from the lowest <laughs> level here. Of, yeah, of yeah. But you it's going to be specific to your, your specific situation. There's okay. lots of factors that go in, down payment percentage, credit score, things like that. So you always want to get with a lender so that way you're confident you know what you're looking at. Yeah, so why do we um, focus so much on those numbers? Why are people concerned about them just because they hear they're going up? Yeah, so obviously the higher the interest rate they go, the higher your monthly payment's going to be. Uh, you know, in, in short context, if you're looking at a $140,000 loan, the difference between a half percent can change your payment about $40. Okay. So not significant, but still enough to have an impact so that way you know it's still in your price range. Yeah, range. well, and if you said it's gone up, what, 2%? and that's not that much. Correct, yep, yep. It's still really, really, really affordable compared to where they were in the past, and yeah. hopefully it continue to be so, so everybody uh, can still continue to buy the properties they want to buy. So when you meet with someone who is shopping for a home, what's the first thing that you ask them? Yeah, so obviously the first step is always to, to get some knowledge about them themselves. You know, what type of situation and what what's their budget? What are they looking for? Have they done this before in the past? And what specifically are they looking for in a lender? So that way we can make sure that we fit their needs. And then how much of the process are you involved in when they're buying a home? Yeah, so at the very beginning, we're highly involved. We want to make sure that we can get the approval in place. And so that way the buyer knows they're out of pocket. They're their approximate interest rate, what their loan's gonna look like whenever they're looking at properties. After that, we kind of take a step back and let Gambino and the realtors do their business and mm -hmm. find that home. And then we kind of step back in and start working on the appraisal after they find a home. So if you're kind of bouncing around different homes, do we have to keep revisiting you and talking about numbers or do we wait until we find the home? Uh, <laughs> typically, it's every four months those okay. approvals are good for. So uh, that's your first kind of shopping window and every four months you want to get back and make sure that everything's still on the right line and everybody's still uh, uh, on the same page. And what's your favorite part of your job? <laughs> uh, meeting new people, uh, you know, and obviously fitting a product that, uh, that meets their goals. So uh, people are different, unique. Every situation's unique. That's one of the best things about our job is every day is not the same. Uh, sometimes it's tough, sometimes it's easier, but at the end of the day, our goal is always the same, which is getting into the new home. Coming up next on GDS, we are talking about a way we can all help veterans as we get closer to Memorial Day and then it's Tuesday Trends. Don't go anywhere.